This presentation is based on a recently published paper in which we integrated empirical evidence from different areas of research to understand rat emotional responses to CO2. In this literature review, we defined emotions as objectively observable through behavioral, physiological, and neurobiological responses. Inferences about rat felt emotions were made through behavioral, physiological, and neurobiological evidence of emotions. By comparing human felt experience to evidence on rat emotional states, and through drug treatments that target specific feelings of emotions in humans to infer specific feelings. When rats are exposed to gradually increasing concentrations of CO2 at a flow rate of around 17% CO2 cage volume per minute without the possibility to escape exposure, behavioral responses such as rearing and locomotion peak when CO2 reaches about 20% and escape attempts and vocalizations occur at 28% CO2. An increase in these behavioral responses has also been reported at higher flow rates. When rats can avoid exposure to CO2 gradual rats avoid exposure to concentrations above 18.6% CO2 even at the cost of losing a valuable sweet reward or at the cost of being exposed to an aversive bright light. Concentration that is well below those required to render the animal unconscious. As I presented in previous slides, we can use evidence on drug treatments to make inferences about specific feelings of emotions in animals. In mammals, the GABA neurotransmitter mediates synaptic inhibitions. Benzodiazepine drugs increase GABA receptor functioning, reduces anxiety-like behaviors in rats in commonly used tests for anxiety, and reduces feelings of anxiety in humans. Forced exposure to 35% static CO2 decreases GABA receptor functioning effect similar to that of anxiogenic drugs. Pre-treatment with benzodiazepines before CO2 exposure increases GABA receptor functioning. As presented before, rats avoid CO2 concentrations below 20%. However, tolerance to CO2 increases in rats pre-treated with benzodiazepines. Force exposure to 10% static CO2 induces freezing in rats. However, rats tolerate these concentrations in order to gain rewards if escape is possible. Tolerance decreases with CO2 concentration. Rats only tolerate about two seconds concentrations of CO2 of around 20%. Forced exposure to 10% static CO2 also elicits freezing in mice. Freezing responses due to CO2 exposure are associated with an increase in CFOS expression in the amygdala and in the vet nucleus of the steria terminalis, both involved in the induction and execution of negative emotional responses. In addition, the loss of function due to lesions or genetic modifications decreases freezing due to CO2 exposure. Forced exposure to CO2 static concentrations of 5, 35, and 100 percent induces conditioning in rats one day post-exposure. The level of conditioning increases with concentration. Conditioning from exposure to 35 to 100 percent CO2 resists extinction during three to four days after exposure. Let's remember that forced exposure to static concentrations of CO2 of about 35% reduces GABA receptor functioning, but also increases anxiety-like behaviors in the Bogle test post-exposure. The behavioral response is similar to that of pretreatment with anxiogenic drugs.
anxiety-like behaviors post-exposure are reduced by benzodiazepines. Forced exposure to 20% CO2 during 5 minutes increases anxiety-like behaviors in the open field and social interaction tests. Anxiety-like behaviors due to CO2 exposure are associated with an increase in CFOS expression in the amygdala and hypothalamus and are decreased by benzodiazepines and orexin receptor agonists. In summary, 10% CO2 exposure is tolerated if rats are motivated, induces freezing and mild conditioning when forced exposed, and activates the amygdala and the bed nucleus of the stria terminalis. Exposure to 20% CO2 is not tolerated induces rearing, locomotion, escape behaviors, vocalizations, and anxiety-like behaviors, and activates the amygdala and the hypothalamus. Exposure to 35% CO2 decreases GABA receptor functioning, induces strong conditioning and anxiety-like behaviors. The literature reviewed indicates that the behavioral responses depend on controllability, that the magnitude of the emotional response depends on CO2 concentrations, that the emotional effects of CO2 are similar to those of anxiogenic drugs, and that these emotional states are ameliorated by benzodiazepines. This evidence indicates that CO2 elicits negative emotional states in rats. Let's remember that we can make inferences about rat felt emotions by comparing it to feelings in humans. In humans, one or two inhalations of 35% CO2 induces feelings of panic that resemble that of naturally occurring panic attacks. People also report feeling like leaving the room or feeling paralyzed. People also experience fear and anxiety when inhaling CO2. And the degree of the emotional experience increases with concentration. People report feelings of immobility and desire to flee when inhaling 20% CO2 during 20 seconds. And a prolonged inhalation of 7.5% CO2 also induces anxiety feelings experienced when inhaling 35 and 7.5% CO2 are decreased with benzodiazepines. When we compare the rat experience with human feelings of emotions, we can see that a 10% CO2 concentrations that are tolerated and induce male conditioning and freezing, humans experience anxiety. At 20% CO2, concentrations that are not tolerated by rats and that induce active and anxiety-like behaviors, induce fear and anxiety in humans, and feelings of immobility and desire to flee. Concentrations of 35% CO2 induces anxiety-like behaviors in rats and strong conditioning, and in humans, elicits panic. For both humans and rats, the magnitude of the experience is related to the concentrations of CO2, and this emotional experience is ameliorated by benzodiazepines. From the integration of the rat and human literature reviewed here, we can infer that when exposed to CO2, rats experience negative emotional states that likely correspond to feelings of fear, anxiety, and panic. Thank you very much for your attention.